we're going to talk about now Botox for injecting the forehead. Okay, which is the frontalis muscle. Even though it, it seems actually the easiest, I think it's actually the most challenging and most difficult. Why? Not because the actual technique, because this is the one area that you could actually get the most side effects and the most variation from one, from one doctor to the next, from one injector to the next. Okay, let me, let me show you a couple things on, on the person's face. Okay, so typically people go in and they just kind of randomly inject the forehead. The problem with that is there's a lot of potential you know, aesthetic side effects that you can get if you don't do it right. Let's go over a couple of them, okay? For instance, if you inject too low along the forehead, what happens? What happens is you do, Botox does what it's supposed to do. It relaxes the frontalis muscle and it pushes the person's eyebrows down and it makes them look older, tired, okay? So as a good rule of thumb, don't inject the frontalis within one finger breadth of their eyebrow. So always stay above. So you want to inject up around this area. Okay, so that's very, very important. And I actually see that a lot in our practice, that we have people coming in and their forehead is down. Something else very, very important when you're injecting um, or when you're injecting forehead lines, when you're injecting a frontalis. A patient comes in, they don't know. Okay, so they're asking you, they're saying, you know, I want you to inject over here. Okay, just inject in this area over here. They don't know to inject the frontalis, the glabellar, they're just pointing to their wrinkles. It's very, very important that whenever you inject the um, frontalis lines, you always inject the glabellar region, okay? And it's just physics. Think about why. If you inject the forehead lines, right, frontalis, that's going to come down. But when you inject the glabellar region, which is a strong depressor, it's going to bring it up. So it counteracts that. So always inject both the frontalis as well as the glabellar. Okay, um, can you push your hair back just a little bit more? That's it, good. And uh, we already alcoholed his forehead, but maybe the doctor could assist me again while I'm talking about something else. Do you mind? re -alcoholism. Thank you, doctor. All right, so, so what else? Okay, we talked about that's called the no injection zone. Uh, symmetry? Okay, well, here, let me mention a few things about that, about being symmetrical. If you're injecting one here, Okay, try to be as symmetrical as you can. So you go one here, one here, one here, and then do the same exact thing on the other side. Don't, you know, whatever distance you're injecting here, be symmetrical. That's pretty important, okay? The next thing that's very important in the forehead is um, male versus female differences. Very often I have patients that come in and they didn't inject the right, and the doctor has, or the patient, I should say, has the, uh, le you know, his uh, eyebrows pointed like that. Okay, the way to avoid that is to start laterally and go all the way across the forehead. Here's what happens. A lot of times, can you bring your head down a little bit? You'll see the wrinkles, bring your eyebrows up. Okay, you see some wrinkles over here, so you're like, okay. Let's say it was just in the middle. A lot of times people have wrinkles just in the middle. So they go and the doctor, or nurse, whatever, they start injecting just in the middle to treat those wrinkles. Then what happens is, you can relax now. The center part of the forehead goes down, but they didn't inject over here. So that goes up, like the pictures that we saw. It looks terrible. And even in females, you see the same thing. So whenever you inject the forehead, and let's do that right now, you go right across. Okay, so bring, what I like to do is bring your eyebrows up. Okay, so let's start up right about over here. So can everybody see that? This is the first line over here. We're going to inject one, one injection right here, two units. The next one right here. Okay, everybody paying attention? And you do one more right in the center. And look, look at where you're injecting, okay? Look. There. So I did two here and one here. That's it so far. One, two, and three. Now you go to the other side. Do the same thing on the other side. Turn your head just a little bit to me. Okay, if you guys can see that, okay. One here. One right over here, just like, just like the other side. Okay, so you got two here. You did two here. You did two here. And you did one in the middle. Now, now we're going to stagger the injection. So if you could turn to me a little bit. Now I'm going to go in between those injections. Okay, so I'm going to go one here. One over here. Good. And you're staggering, so you're going in between. Hopefully everybody can see that okay. All right, and you just... 
the key, the key thing is here is to be symmetrical. Okay, take your time, make your injections, be symmetrical. Okay, so we just talked about male versus female differences. Okay, now let's say you have a female patient who has wrinkles, who has right, it's right in the center, and she wants a little bit of an eyebrow lift. What you can do is you can focus your injections mostly in the middle and don't inject laterally like we just did there. Okay, so that's another idea. Um, what's the total dosage that you could do? 30 units. Okay, 30 units. What about on your first couple patients to get the hang of it? 8 to 12 units, right? Okay, good. Have them come back a second visit. Take a look, say, oh, okay, that's what eight units does. I think he needs a little bit of a touch-up here and there. And then you can really get the best results. The patient will be very happy. And uh, we talked about the no injection zone. And that's, I think that's it. Any questions for injecting the forehead, injecting the frontalis?